Okay, so if you understand basic statistics and a little bit of algebra, well, you should have no problem solving this word problem. Let's take a look at the question. So the median of x, 4x, 8x, and 9x is 24. What is the mean? All right, so feel free to use a calculator, but uh, if you think you know the answer, put that into the comment section. I'm gonna show you the correct answer in just one second. Then of course, I'm gonna solve this problem step by step. All right, so one more time, the median of x, 4x, 8x, and 9x is 24. What is the mean? All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the answer right now. Okay, so the mean is 22. All right, so what is the mean, even mean? Well, I'm gonna explain this all in uh, one moment, but if you get this right, that is fantastic. Matter of fact, you definitely earned a nice little happy face, an A plus, a 100%, and multiple stars. So you can tell your friends and family that not only do you know some algebra, that you have a pretty decent grasp on things called the measure of central tendency. Wow, that's a pretty big description. Like, what are you, what, like, what am I talking about here? The measure of central tendency. Well, in statistics, basic statistics or stats, as we call them, there are some uh, measures, right? So let me just kind of state what I'm saying here. Measures of central tendency. Okay, so what does that even mean? Well, let's suppose we have a classroom of students. So here are some uh, students in our lovely classroom. And these students are taking a test and I have uh, uh, various test results, right? So some students maybe get 60%, unfortunately. Some students might get like 95% and other students are gonna be in between or maybe some are gonna be even higher, some are gonna be lower. So I would wanna measure the central tendency. Okay, like, hey, you know, I wanna kinda have some sort of number that kind of has some sort of representation of what's going on with this particular group of students, right? So what are some of those measures? Well, you can kind of think of uh, one of them being the average, right? Well, what's the average score? And there's others as well, okay? And this is what we're really gonna be talking about. And the measures of central tendency, uh, tendency would be the mean median uh, mode would be another. And then we have something called the range. Let's just quickly review these real fast. So the mean is what we're looking for in this particular problem. That's just a fancy word for the average. Okay, so when we're looking at um, the average of something, we are calculating the mean. All right, what is the median? Well, the median is, let me go ahead and just uh, write this out because we're gonna need to understand this before we get into the solution. So let's suppose I have uh, four different, uh, five different test scores, let's say we, or let's just say we have five different pieces of, of data that we wanna kind of measure. So let's say if one is uh, uh, five, three, two, and one. So it, in order to calculate the median, okay, well, we actually, I said five, right? Let's use another, let's put four uh, right there. So here's our five pieces of data. So the median is the middle, uh, whatever is the uh, middle number in terms of how many uh, pieces of data you have. Let me just go ahead and write this out. And what we need to do is order our um, data uh, from highest, I'm sorry, from lowest to highest. So here we wanna write this as one, two, three, four, five, right? So this can represent anything. But once you have all your um, pieces of data uh, written out from lowest to highest, the middle number right here is the median, right? Sounds like the middle number. Well, that's what it is. So we have two here, two here. So the median of this data set would be three. Now, what happens if we uh, here, we have five pieces of data, what happens if we only have four pieces of data? What's the middle number? There is no middle number. So what we have to do is average the two uh, numbers that are closest to the middle. Of course, we have to have everything written from lowest to highest. So the average of two and three would be the median in this particular case. All right, now let's go ahead and talk about the mode real quick. Now, sometimes there is a mode, sometimes there isn't. The mode is the... Uh, uh, piece of data that occurs the most. So let's suppose I have a data set one, two, three, four, one. Okay, so what is showing up here uh, more than the other? One is, okay, so whatever pieces of data 
uh, may be showing up more frequently. That would be the mode. And then the range would be nothing more uh, than the difference of the uh, highest and lowest uh, pieces of data that you have. So this is just a quick crash course on the measurements of central tendency, real basic statistical concepts that all of you out there need to understand. So again, the question here is asking for the mean, okay, which of course is the same thing as the average. And we're uh, being told that we, um, uh, we are talking about the median of this data set. Okay, so the median of these uh, numbers is 24. So how do we solve this problem? Well, you're going to have to break out your basic algebra skills. Not that difficult. Okay, so we are talking about the median. So we're going to want to order uh, this uh, information, okay, our data from highest to lowest uh, value. So here we have x, 4x, 8x, 9x. We're just to assume that x is positive and not negative. So if that's the case, we can kind of uh, order these uh, numbers. And of course, we don't know what these are, but these are values from uh, lowest to highest. So here would be x. Of course, 4x is more than x. Of course, 8x is more than 4x, and then 9x is the greatest. So here's lowest to highest. So notice we only have four pieces of data. How do we find the median? Well, it's what I explained to you uh, in, uh, just a moment ago. What we need to do is average the two uh, closest of uh, two uh, pieces of um, data that are closest to the middle. In this case, it's 4x and 8x. All right, so how do we find the average of 4x and 8x? Well, uh, we have two pieces of data, so all we need to do is take 4x and 8x and divide that by 2. Now, let's go back to the problem here. It says the median of x, 4x, 8x, and 9x is 24. So we know that the actual median is a number, okay? That number is 24. So we can construct the median right here. Of course, we don't know what uh, x is, but we do know that the median is 24. So we can solve for x. So 4x plus 8x uh, di divided by 2. This is how we would calculate the medi median. And the median is equal to 24. So we're going to set up this lovely equation right here and solve it. All right, so 4x plus 8x is what? Well, that's 12x over 2. That's equal to 24. So we're going to solve this. 12x divided by 2 is what? Well, that would be 6x, right? 12 divided by 2. So we got 6x here. So 6x is equal to 24. So let's go ahead and just solve for x by dividing both sides of the equation by 6. So 24 divided by 6 would be 4. So x is equal to 4. Okay, so that's like the first part of this problem. But uh, we have a whole nother kind of phase of this problem, right? So we uh, kind of know what x is equal to, but we don't, um, you know, we're, we don't just kind of celebrate yet because we're not done. We Now we need to figure out the mean, okay, which is what? It's going to be the average of all four of these numbers here. So we're going to actually have to figure out what the actual value of these numbers are. And we could do that because we know what x is equal to, right? So if x is equal to 4, this x right here would be 4. And this one would be 4 times what? 4 times 4 is 16. 8 times 4 is 32. 9 times 4 is 36. So x is equal to 4. And we'll, we can calculate the average of the mean, but we first have to get these values. So let's kind of do that right now. All right, so x is equal to 4. We're going to plug in 4 for x uh, in each one of those terms right there. So we're going to get 4, 16, 32, and 36. Those are our actual pieces of data. And now to find the average or mean, all we need to do is to um, add up the total of um, our uh, pieces of data here. So 4, 16, 32, and 36. We're going to add up and get that total and divide by how many numbers we have, which are 1, 2, 3, 4. This is how you find the average. Hopefully, um, kind of assuming that you understand how to find the average. But if you need um, help with basic statistics and whatnot, check out any one of my uh, pre-algebra, Algebra 1 courses, uh, or even Algebra 2 courses. It all depends on what level of statistics you are in. I go over all this stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead and just finish this problem up. So 4 plus 16 plus 32 plus 36 is 88. 88 divided by uh, 4 is 22. So that would be the mean or the average. 
Okay, so I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in algebra, check out these courses right here. So pre-algebra is uh, for those of you that are studying basic algebra. But uh, if you are further along in mathematics, then you may want to check out my Algebra 1 or Algebra 2 courses. Now, my Math Skills Rebuilder course is a review course. I cover basic math, algebra, and geometry in this course. I'm going to leave links to all these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.